Hello everybody and welcome to Off The Shelf Reviews. It's Gaming Friday. I'm Ian. And I'm Dylan. Yes, Dylan. I have got you here for us to show our audience Hello Neighbour, finally. Mm -hmm. You're going to press A? Sure. Let's, Let's go. rock on with this video. Dylan has been Dylan has been going on at me for m months, at least half a year about this game, Hello Neighbor. He started watching these videos on YouTube By with the, the time I was like five, five, five six. You were, I mean, not not that young, Jesus. I mean, you're, you're seven now. I, I was no, I'm eight. By the time I was I, uh, five, yes, eight. By the sorry. Time I, by the time I was five, I was at, I was actually watching Alpha One. See, by the time I got, by the time I got to the full see, game, after spend, I was seven. We spend so much time together, you know. We, you know, he's seven, eight, nine. It's like time just goes all over the place. But for months, he was watching these videos by these YouTubers who were obviously, you know, allowed. He was allowed to watch by me and his mum, and they were going on about this game, Hello Neighbor. Now, I listen to you talk to me about Alpha 1, Alpha 2, Beta 2, Beta 3. I heard it all. The house changed. The neighbour was everywhere. And then finally, they released the game onto the Xbox One. And I was like, I have to buy this. I have to buy this for Dylan because this is what he has been going on at me for months. So, Dylan, why don't you explain to the audience what it is? Hello, what is Hello Neighbour? Hello Neighbor is a, a a a game where you basically have to sneak into your neighbor's house, get into his basement, which is just down there, and uh, uh, the neighbor can also follow your moves. Yeah. Which I have to turn back on because I accidentally didn't turn it on. Turn turn what back on? The ah, uh, see you already neighbor. knows. Friendly mode is off. Friendly mode is dropped, ladies and gentlemen. The neighbor is a thinking AI. Yes, the thinking AI, the neighbor, has loads of different spaces. He has this space to, that he can come past. He can't go past here because this is an, a four digital wall of uh, the invisible wall. Yeah, there's now, an invisible he, wall there, yeah. He walks over here and knocks on them. And there's another one down here, and the city's not real. Yeah. And you can, uh, he actually goes over there and knocks on both of those. And his house is so big that sometimes you can actually go in there and well, find secrets. Well, this is the, the, the third transition of this house, isn't it? The game was developed by Dynamic Pixels and published by Tiny Build. Look, uh, building from the Un Unreal Engine 4. And... I, I remember I remember you showing me the first video of, of I think it was Alpha One, uh, where it was just a little house. He was just a little house, and we had to break that into his house. That was Alpha Two. Alpha Two, sorry. Yep, he's, he's going to completely own me on this. You know, and and they they released they released Alpha Three, which had a bigger house with lots more rooms like and, and a windmill at the top. And I'd like this. Oh, house. there he is. There's, there he there's, is. There's a neighbor. There, so there that's the neighbor, guys. I can break his windows, but I don't know why I do that. I want to hit him. You're gonna th you're gonna throw shoes into his face, are you? <laughs> so yeah. So he's a thinking AI because when you break into his house, if you go through the front door, and the neighbor captures you, he sends you back to your house, but he'll lock the front door. No, he'll he'll do something like if you get caught, if it, if you run through the door, oh, he's glitched. Is he glitching? Oh, we'll run past him. We've got to get into the basement. No, if he if he does that, if yeah. I try to run past him, what will happen is he he will actually get out of glitch mode and run after me. Okay. Now what happens is if uh, um he if he actually comes over, if you run over, yeah, if you run over actually, um. And he spots you and you've gone through the door and then you hide. What he will do is one, he'll set up a bear trap or two, he'll put up a camera. Yes, yes. Now I have some camera. I, I, while I was playing on on the last one, I was actually uh, on the last gameplay, I, which uh, we didn't review. I actually got some of his bear traps and put them on top of my car to, for safekeeping. Now what I can do is I can actually put them down 
and uh, if he tries to go through somewhere that I want him to go through, he will get stuck in it if he's uh, chasing after me. So let's let's try and get into his house, shall we? Let's try and uh, let's try and look at some of the weird rooms in there, because because I looking at the story. So so the act act one of this game uh, is a young boy is playing in the street when he hears a scream from his neighbor's house, and when as as you're playing as the little boy. You break into the house to investigate what this noise was. And you have to find the keys to get into your neighbor's basement. Once you finally make it into the basement, you are captured by the neighbor and kind of, you know, you know, held hostage by him so that you have to break out. When you finally do break out and get into Act 3, which I, it's Act 3 that we're in now, isn't it? Yeah. With I've, the big house. Uh, I've actually just, uh, we, uh, we've, uh, I've actually just like finished all of the acts. Yeah, like, yeah, I, I made you, I made you finish it because I wanted to see what the end was. But you are now in Act 3, you're, you're an adult and you have to... Teenager, you mean, or bigger. Well, it says, it, well, obviously I have it on Wikipedia at the moment. It says you are now a grown adult and you have to wake up in your apartment and, and obviously get into the get into the house. You have to get into the house to obviously try and find out what the, the what what all the issues were, obviously, back when you were a kid. And then there's the all these weird nightmare sequences as well. I mean, I saw you go around like a shopping, shopping mart, a supermarket, sorry. And there were these weird mannequins pushing trolleys. Yeah, there was. And you these... have to sneak from sneak away from them. Yeah, I haven't got that ability yet because I, I forgot to. Are you trying to glitch through the wall there, Dylan? No, actually, this is one thing I wanted to say. Yeah. In the game, in all of the other games, you have the uh, uh, your adult one. Yeah. Has the power to see through walls. Okay. And this is one of the walls, uh, one of the rooms that Dad wanted uh, um, uh, you guys to see. Yeah, because this is the neighbor's kind of surveillance room that he set up. This guy, this neighbor is so paranoid. Oh, I've just seen something. He's so paranoid. He's got all these video cameras up. Now, as a parent, and I'm throwing this out there to other, other parents as well. Maybe you're a prospective parent with a child come along or... You, you, you have a child and you're wondering what games to play with them. You know, you're always wondering, you know, what is what is a good game for a kid to play? And, and as I've gotten older, I've realised it doesn't actually, there's there's not really a fine line. You know, we're already abusing people, uh, abusing animals in like Mario and Sonic and things like that. Are you, are you going to try and get the crowbar and the key card from yeah, the Yeah, I've just noticed the... something. They, what? They've taken a picture from Alpha uh, Beta 4, right. which is... The old house. Yeah. They've put it on to this screen, and if you look inside it, that was at this whole house was from act, uh, from not act three but beta four. Right. Uh, but but it looks like they've just added that, and I think if you look outside, there, uh, that's one. Of, I think it's looking on that one, but but without those. Oh, okay. So it's uh, probably one of the houses down there that I've seen. Okay, let's have a look at the deeper into the house while while I talk about morales because Dylan was really really wanting this game, and it then is. and then when I got it, I I questioned the morale of the type of person you have to be to break into your neighbor's house. Now, okay, you're walking along, you hear a scream from your neighbor's house. The first immediate thing you want to do in real life is obviously call the police. We break into this guy's house. Like we're the good guys, and we're the police. And he he gets and he gets angry at us and throws us out. Now, I think that's a good thing. I think that's an okay thing on his part because we're technically the bad guys, breaking into his house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you're just like you. You don't mind. You've got the umbrella. Yeah, you've got also, the magnet gun. Also, the ma uh, the mannequins. Yeah. Do not hurt you in this. But in the other ones where you get the special abilities, they can hurt you. Yeah, because because when you go into the nightmare levels, like there's there's the uh, supermarket level that you go into. Um, there's also a basement level that you have to sneak around where there's a, a, a like a, a kind of invisible shadow monster who can grab you. You have to have special abilities 
to get past them. And is it the keys that give you the special abilities? Um, yeah. All of the keys get you to the special ability areas. But also, Dad uh, and the other people, some people actually uh, actually need uh, need to have some quiet area so then uh, so then they can hear if the neighbors spot you or not because uh, the, if the neighbors spot you he, he will have this music play play yeah. on and if you hear that then you know he's coming so you want to hide now let me just get in the trolley because this is this is one thing oh my god oh he's right there did he grab you he grabbed you he grabbed me through the train but it's I'm uh, still you're alive. You're still in the train. Nice. Well, I think we ran... Did we run him over? I think we ran him we over. We ran him over a, a bit, but not much. I, d I, don't think, I don't think the council allowed this kind of building. I don't think this is actually a legalised building. Building a train inside your house. Yeah. Well, what's it's this? Probably a bit dangerous. When I get out, I need to have this oh, on. Oh, got the umbrella. Yeah, the, um the umbrella slows you down. So, obviously, Dylan's been playing this a lot, that he's learned all the different places he's gone to. You know, we, we've we've gotten most of the achievements through the Xbox version apple, and, apple, and seen apple. a lot of the uh, uh, the that. glitches. Cool. But I, th I felt Good that the game wasn't a complete a complete game when it was released. I remember when Dylan was telling me about the different alphas... I was sat there thinking, this doesn't look right, you know, because there's no real punishment. You get caught by the neighbour in his house and you get sent back to your house, but you don't lose any health. Uh, you don't lose any of the weapons or items that you've picked up. You don't lose any of the real points. Like, there's no point system either. So yes. I kept expecting the game when it was released to actually have, you know, some kind of build in it. Have you spotted that yet? But Spotted what? That. What, what, what are you looking for? Uh, this is definitely a non. Uh, this is not very safe. Oh, it's a chair. What? No, no. There's a actual area, like a platform. Yeah. Over there, in the sky, next to the house. Oh yeah, who built that? That is very not illegal because actually it's on one stand, and if there was like loads of people in there, the whole thing would collapse and hurt. And yeah. why does the neighbour uh, just uh, hold a flashlight? Oh, uh, so you're probably uh, wondering why it's gone to night time. It, it, whenever you die, it will change back to the next setting. So we were in daytime. Dylan fell off the roof and died. And now it's changed to night time, which makes it a lot more difficult because obviously you've only got varied light sources all over the place. One of the light sources you can use. I think um, I've lost all of the... Uh, I think I've lost all of the... Flashlights because he had loads of flash. There we go. There we go. Go, go, go that's, flashlight. There that's we go. One flashlight found. There's lots of interactive objects in this game. Yes. Yeah, it's it's a very that's the that's the weirdest thing is that everything is kind of interact with interactable. Sorry, um, but only certain items actually are used. So, for example, yeah, you can use the torch to to um to look around in the dark. But if you wanted to, you could literally just throw yourself off the roof and start it off in daytime again. Uh, you need to find, what is it we need to find? We need to find the crowbar to take the wooden planks off the door. Yes. We need the key off of the neighbor's belt to unlock the padlock. No. Where's, where's the key? The key card is frozen in his fridge. Oh, and yes. And what do we need to heat it up to melt it? We, uh, we can either use... Uh, what I used last time, which was um, a uh, a kettle, yeah, that had uh, oh that off. was uh, fired, so it had fire. It, it was like had so much on it. Yeah. Or you can uh, either use this like generator on his house, which can help you with this. Well, I'm just trying to get over to that it, area. It just boggles the mind that the, what what went through his mind when he built this house. You know, yeah. did he actually just sit there one day and go, you know what, I really want some apple plants on my roof, but I want to make sure that the train track goes around the middle first. You know, because, because that's safe. Because there is an actual room, I, I think I've seen the room in this one, where it's half filled with water. He's actually just filled half the room with water. Yeah. But I'm very tricky because actually, I come over here a lot. Where to? 
Where are we going? You're, you're falling. You're falling to your roof. You've completely missed your jump, haven't you? What? <laughs> you, you missed your jump because you died now. Right, we want to get into the basement, don't we? So what, yeah. what's the first object we're going for? First object. We need crowbar, which is heated. Okay. Second thing. Need, um, well, I can take that chair off because that's too easy. We need the key card and then that's it. But also, I'm trying to show that because if you go through that room, there's a special area right. which has the neighbour's wife and kids in the picture with him. Oh, see, now I was just looking at this on Wiki, Wikipedia because the, the weird thing is it has got a bit of a backstory as well where in, in Act 2, if the boy is caught by the neighbour before he can finish his objectives, he will have vivid nightmares about the neighbour's past. In these nightmares, it's revealed that the neighbour used to have a family consisting of a wife, son and a daughter. However, the wife was apparently killed in a car crash while the son and daughter are missing. Now, that's pretty dark, you know, just for just for an a, an objective of a, of a guy going into a, a, you know. Also, there's loads of secrets here. Oh. Don't get hit I by thought we car. were going for the crowbar. Yeah, but there's loads of secrets here, like that. There's a YouTuber missing. Okay. And the second thing, if you go uh, in the Act 1, if you come down here, you see loads of missing papers. Yeah. On the, uh, on the, uh, the wire things, uh, uh, and it has uh, a girl and a boy on it. Oh, would that be the son and the daughter for the neighbour? Yeah. So... So you can, uh, and uh, it, once you finish Hello Neighbor Act Three, yeah, there are tons, trillions of papers in the room of the Shadow Man. What? Go, go inside. I want to. I want to get back inside the house. I can't see yeah, anything well from outside the house. Yeah, well, he's uh, going up the ladder, which means I can't get oh. up to that room. See, see, now you're just being modest, and I've seen you run straight through his front door and run straight up to the roof in like five seconds without him even capturing you. Yeah, well, now he's attracted to to the ladder. Okay. So now he'll keep on going up there and keep on going up. Well, yeah, th but that's it. Well, we've got to keep the we've got to keep the video entertaining for everybody at home. You know, we, we've got to show them all the all the different things that we can do. He is in here. going up here. So he's already up there. So where else can we go at the moment? Oh, looks like he took the wrong side. Oh right. Okay. Looks like he took the left pipe. Right. Yeah. So now, so now we're we're climbing up, and we're going for the crowbar at the moment, are we? Yeah. Also, we're going for a. We're going for secrets that can actually unlock achievements. Yeah, yeah, we have done a few of the achievements on here. So, for example, uh, can we see the church from on top of the roof? So the church is up there. There is actually a, a glitch in this in this game where I can, you can I break... can do it for you guys. Well, if you, if you can show it to the audience at home, yeah, you can. Where we can break an invisible wall and head up to that church. Oh, he's missed the jump. Oh. Missed the jump. Oh. And, and that what wasn't the, the room we were talking about. But the achievement in here. the Xbox One version is, is to... Um, oh, yes, here we go. They've okay. actually left this in. Now, I'm not too sure if this is a good plan or a, or a bad plan they've actually just left this in the game so that you can find it as part of an achievement uh -huh. this is an unreal engine mi m uh, engine uh, engine yeah missing script and what and happens when you go past it when you go uh, uh, if you try to go past it you'll never go past it you'll just go straight and in, into it and you'll spawn outside of the world and you'll never be able to come back here unless well you die. unless you unless you restart or die but I'm with... not gonna go in there because there's some uh, the, there's loads of secrets around here, including well, the neighbor. Yeah. The na uh, the na uh, well, when I say the neighbor, yeah, I, uh, I mean the family. Um, the the family picture. family pictures. So we're gonna go see the neighbor's family pictures, are which we? is up there. That's why I brought a shoe with me so I can break the glass. Ah, so then you can use the umbrella to jump, get onto the roof to to swing down. So th that's the thing. There's a lot of crazy interactivity in in this game. It's just knowing what it is, and Sorry. and on top of that, it's also 
I I spent how much did I spend on this? I spent twenty five seven twenty five pound on this game, and part of me still feels a little bit cheated, even though I was buying this game for you, and knew that this would make you really really happy. I don't think it's a complete game. It's not a complete game unless they add something very good like no invisible walls and actual city area. So then uh, if you but, go but that's, but that's not the aim of the game, is it? What I'm saying is, is that the aim of the game is to break into the neighbor's house and get into his basement to find out the mystery about what's actually what's actually going on in, inside his house. But that one. but the but the thing is is that I saw you get into the basement and we got into the basement and we worked our way down. <laughs> and, oh, he threw tomato sauce in your face and grabbed you. It's a tomato he threw in my face. But at least we get daytime, which is after uh, the middle of the day. Yeah, but once we got because I made you do the ending because I I wanted to see what happened at the end because you were just messing around in act three just doing or getting all the crazy stuff and I said to your son you've got to you've got to get into the basement you know you've got to get into the basement for me because I've, I you've been talking about this game for months so I just need to know what's in there and when you finally made it in there we ended up fighting there we go a giant version of the neighbor mm -hmm. and then once we defeated him that was it. There was no... No, once we defeated him, I got teleported to a different room that we don't want to head inside because he's just set up a bear trap. Well, we don't want to be, to be standing still or people, you know, people think the game's crashed. Uh-huh, but basically, when uh, da uh, when Daddy was... Uh, 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 when my dad went downstairs... Yeah. I was... Uh, I, he thought that once we finished it, it would be done, just done. But actually, no. By the time I got, uh, by the time he went downstairs, it carried on with me, uh, uh, with me in a different room. So what happened? What did we find out about the hit, hit? What screamed? What made the noise that lured us into the house when we were a little boy? Well, from Alpha Two. There was this uh, little Easter egg, which was a mannequin yeah. being pushed over by the neighbour. The same thing happened in uh, Act 1. Yeah. In Act 1, you actually get... Oh, there's two beds. Yeah, he's put a bear trap down by that door, and we've got to remove that chair from the basement door as well. Oh, no, that's right, because you're heading upstairs to get into that room. Mm-hmm. Or... Um, uh, uh, the, in Act One, I use the same thing, but with the elf, uh, but with the new mannequins. And uh, what they did was they uh, uh, they deleted the mannequin from it. Okay. And they just changed it to be nothing, to be N nothing. 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 Yeah. I like saying street nut talk there. I like saying nothing instead of nothing because, well, nothing isn't my favourite word. See, now there were there were a number of other games that came out um, just before this and, and just after this. We had uh, um, Five Nights at Freddy's obviously came out. Uh, then you had Hello Neighbor, um, and then recently, just after that, we had we had uh, Bendy and the Ink Machine, mm -hmm. and I, so, I I kind of felt Freddy because of the success of. Um, Five Nights at Freddy's you know people wanted to develop games for the PC and uh, and and make yeah, these nothing. weird interactive games you're going to fall off no. oh no yeah you completely messed up when you fall from down to the bottom I can just throw my my thing you, I don't think you're going to get that torch in there I think you're going to slip off yeah, no yeah, I want to break the glass I know but you're throwing it at the roof son anybody can see you're throwing it at the roof um, I can go on top of my roof. Well, yeah, but we, we're going to need to throw something through that window, aren't we? We need now to throw also, something. Uh, our roof is from, well... And the thing out. was, they released Five Nights at Freddy's, but the guys behind Five Nights at Freddy's obviously kept updating it, and so the game kept getting bigger and better as it went, where with the release of Hello Neighbor, they, they were updating it more, but not not getting very far with it to the point that all of a sudden Bendy and the Ink Machine was out. And I feel like Bendy and the Ink Machine has probably gone through the same kind of process, that they want to make it into a game, but they're not 
they're not getting the backing enough to be able to expand the updates. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I don't think I've seen Bendy and the Ink Machine being released just yet. I could be wrong. It might be out now on, on, on Steam. But I think this is it for Hello Neighbor. It isn't out. It isn't out yet because actually, um, they they haven't actually got chapter six done yet. They've what, only got chapter. The ending? They've only got chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, and chapter four. Right. Okay. okay. Chapter five and six haven't been done yet because of well, like uh, the uh, like uh, the well whole time. Yeah. Oh, you just got caught by the merit trap. Right. We got. We, right. We've got to get. We've got to get into that room. Okay. Mm -hmm. I keep seeing the outside of the house, but you have not broken that window, and you have not gone into that room yet. So it's come on. I've show, kept on uh, breaking. Uh, trying to break show me that your one. skills, Sean. Show the audience at home your skills. Let's break that window. Let's get inside before before we get to the end of the video. But would you, uh, while you're doing all this, would you recommend this game to to the kiddies at home, to the parents at home? Oh, I got grabbed. Um, would you recommend this to the kiddies at home? I would say, actually, yes, because it can. Uh, it doesn't contain like swearing and stuff like that. It actually contains like mute. It it it's just nothing. Yeah, there's no talking in it really like mm -hmm. that. No, nothing major. But what I mean, would you find is it is it scary? Because I think that's how um, the game was supposed to start off, wasn't it? Was, it? it was supposed to be scary. It says on the actual thing that it has movement, so like you can use everything. Yeah, yeah. It, and it immersive. also has uh, um like it has it said fear. Yeah. Which means there will be some fear in it, like the fear shopping area. Yes, and stuff yeah, the, like that. yeah, the supermarket level, yeah. I'm also trying to find out the secret for the gun, because I want the gun back. Well, you got to get inside the house first. To get, you can't stand outside in the road just, like, staring at the neighbor. trying to break his window, because he actually just opened his bear trap again. Yeah. So if I try to go through the door with him outside with the, the bear trap, yeah. what will happen is I... Well, actually, well... Isn't there a back door you can go through as well? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you could go through the back door. Uh, I... You know what? I do recommend uh, Hello Neighbor to, to any parents out there. I, I want to recommend it to gamers, but I... You know, yeah. as a gamer myself, I think that this this game isn't really worth the, the money that you spend on it. Now, you might think, oh, Ian, you're being completely harsh. But to tell you the truth, you know, you play... We, we always talk and argue about half-finished games, you know, when, when a game's got stuff on the disc, but you have to pay for it to unlock it after you've already paid full price, and you always kick yeah, off about like, it. Like Lego Lego Worlds, which is another Xbox uh, Yeah, but game. Lego Worlds has got DLC. There was a yeah, lot of stuff there's... already unlocked on the game already. Uh -huh. with, and with... then there's maps, uh, maps like... Like the, the zombie world or the fear world. Yeah, but with and Hello Neighbor... Uh, you have to buy them on, like, uh, the app store. But with Hello Neighbor, there's three acts, and the game feels half unfinished. As an experienced gamer, a, a young gamer, much like Dylan, eight years old, probably won't even see that. See, they'll see right past that. They'll see all the interactivity. They'll see the effects of the neighbor. You know, oh, Boom. did you get it? You smashed it through as you died. I did died. it, but I died, so died I didn't at the same press time. the right button. But at, at the, the same time. time, you know, if you can get a chance of it, if you've got a kid, definitely sign them up, get the, get them a copy of it, sit down with them, understand the ins and outs. They'll understand the interactivity. And at the same time, if you get it on PC, you might be able to get down some of the mods as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you're on uh, uh, if you're on the Xbox One, yeah. what happens is you can't actually uh, get modding because yeah. uh, modding takes a lot of a uh, lot of pa pounds to get uh, a lot of money to get mainly it. just for PCs. Yeah, mainly yeah. just for PCs. Right, that is the end of our video. I hope you've enjoyed checking out Hello Neighbor with me and Dylan. We will get back to you next Thursday for another film review. You can catch us on Friday for another gaming review. You can catch us on Twitter, on Patreon, and on Facebook. We'll catch you later. See you, see you later, guys.